This is Bumper to Bumper TV. Remember when this was the latest hot thing from the auto industry? Full-size SUVs on big wheels loaded to the gills with features. General Motors still thinks there's a market for this size platform. So what's the latest iteration of the Tahoe? At the top of the line LTZ level, that means a full luxury interior with a lot of wood grain paneling and high-end seat stitching. As a three-row, this Tahoe comes with a second-row bucket seats and a reasonably sized third-row bench to accommodate the advertised seven passengers. Now the center stack still has a standard General Motors SUV truck layout and the rest of the controls are where you expect to find them. What is conspicuous by its absence is a lane departure warning system or forward collision warning sensors. And considering that this is a 5,400 pound unit, both are the kind of features offered on competing models. Mechanically, the Tahoe is powered by the familiar 5.3 liter V8 Vortec. It's rated at 320 horsepower and 335 foot-pounds of torque. This engine can also run on E85 ethanol and with active fuel management, there is a slight increase in mileage. We remain baffled as to why there isn't a diesel power plant offered for the Tahoe since there are units available that can match performance and deliver better EPA results. Working in the Tahoe's favor is the Stabilitrack Handling and Traction Control System. It delivers a very nimble response considering this SUV is more than 200 inches long and rides on 20 inch wheels. For those who still have something to pull along, the 8,500 pound tow capacity is more than enough to handle most boats and trailers. It will be worth watching if the next generation of the Tahoe will carry this approach forward or if there will be radical changes to reshape the direction of the segment. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.